So this is Padma Venkataraman, who is currently self-employed and is a communications consultant. So Padma, why don't you give us a <clears throat> sorry? Why don't you give us a brief of your career and uh, where did you study and what was your main motivation for choosing your path? Hi, Johan. It's lovely to be here talking with you. Um, well, I studied uh, journalism and then I went on to do my MassCom uh, in Pune with Symbiosis. Um, what has my career path been? I have been within the spectrum of communications for the last 20 years. Uh, different disciplines within communications, though. Uh, unfortunately, I suppose because uh, of a lack of understanding, there is a tendency to group all of it as one. So when you tell people uh, you're in advertising or public relations or communications or even events sometimes, uh, it's all painted with a very broad brush. Uh, but yes, 20 years has been a journey in communications for me because I've uh, had the opportunity to traverse through different disciplines within communication. So advertising was fun, uh, PR even uh, more insightful. Corporate communications, because it covers a broader spectrum of communications, was fascinating. And uh, working on my own at the moment with content is eye-opening. To answer the last part of your question in terms of uh, motivation for my career, you remember that question that everyone asks you when you're very young, saying, what do you want to be when you grow up? So to all of your friends that are looking for some sort of guidance on what they want to be when they grow up, here's my little uh, two bits. Be very clear about what you don't want to be when you grow up. So I was very clear that uh, you know arts and humanities was what it was going to be for me. I wasn't going to be a doctor. I had no interest in being an engineer. I did not have the capability to be a painter or a musician. Okay, so if you can answer the question, what are the things I don't want to do? It might become easier to find a career path. All right. So what guidance do you have for students who look to pursue a similar career in communications? Be curious. It is the foundation or the cornerstone of everything. If you're curious, you will go looking for knowledge. If you go looking for knowledge, you will always find the humility to say that there is so much that I don't know, which will then lead you to become a lifelong learner, which is an excellent thing to be, right? So I think a linear kind of education system for yourself. Right? Don't rely on the education systems that the world designs for you, right? And curiosity, like I said, is the starting point. If you can be curious about everything, right? And uh, today you have so many things to be curious about. And unlike my generation, technology today makes it able for you to find out what is happening in the remotest corners of the world. Right? If you want to find out what the weather is in Antarctica, you can. Right? Um, let's face it, Black Lives Matter is going on. You know, I mean, protests are going on across the world. If you want to know about it, you can. But the point is, do you want to know about it? Do you want to know what the impact is? Do you want to know the history behind each of these movements or whatever else is going on in the world? Right? Which is why I will always come back to the ultimate truth. If you are curious, the world really is an oyster in terms of learning. So be curious. All right. So how do you think technology will change the way you work in the next 10 years or so? Um, Johan, I'm a firm believer that technology is an enabler right? and different forms of technology. So technology is an ever constantly changing being. right? Um, and I think uh, you've got two factors. You've got people who are afraid of technology. You have, uh, you know, that also is a mindset that says that human beings are going to be overrun by bots and robots. Uh, I don't think uh, that part is ever going to happen. Uh, on the other hand, of course, you have somebody who will probably believe that technology is the answer to everything. Right. Uh, and I think uh, certain generations will probably uh, be accused of not having enough human to human interaction because everything is happening, happening through social networking. And ultimately, of course, technology you know, carries the blame for um, a, a, a whole host of sins. OK, but how technology will change the career that I am in? Uh, I think mediums or platforms through which we will talk to people may differ. 
but communication essentially is about knowing what to say what not to say and most importantly who you're saying it to so you will continue or communications will continue to design the the messages that we have depending on the target audience that we're speaking with so techno technology in my mind will continue to be an enabler all right so thank you padma thank you for your time thank you johan it was a pleasure